first things first, I just want to say thank you for all your nice comments about Robin and congratulations. And thank you to everyone who subscribed and watched my videos. The Floss Tube community is one of the most inviting, friendliest communities on YouTube. You guys are awesome. I did booktube for a long time and I've kind of just quit booktube because I just, I gotta be very bluntly honest, I think my reviews kind of suck. I'm not trying to like self-hate here. I just, I don't think I'm good at expressing into words my feelings on things when it comes to books. And I did it for a long time and I just feel like, you know, it's not my stride. I think I'm just better off reading books and if people ask me, I can give you my opinions. I might do what Jesse Marie um, does and just tell you guys what I'm reading at the end of videos perhaps. Um, so you guys, I can tell you guys what I feel about books because I am reading again, so that's good. But yeah, anyway, the point being you're all lovely and you guys rock my world. Today we're going to have the special hiking rendition of uh, what I've been up to and my future city plans. Here's Skyla and Cedric. They're both very, very happy. Yeah, that we're finally doing something. I used to hike a lot, like a lot, a lot, almost every day, but as you can imagine, it's a lot harder. Yep, with a little one who is, I don't know if this is going to work, you know, in a pack. Ah, sorry, can't really see if he's too close, but we're enjoying this kind of overcast day, but the temperature's nice. It was like perfect for this. Um, and I thought I'd do it like this. Because I just don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Free time for myself. There's not a lot of people who go on these trails, so I figured this would be the thing to do. But I apologize for shaky cam and whatnot. I'll try my hardest. Just doing this with my phone. Okay. So um I have been woo, sorry. <laughs> so I've been um basically just hanging out with baby um it's overall nice but it is kind of stressful um day by day it all depends on how he sleeps like some days he sleeps decent decent being he'll give me like two three hour shifts of sleep um <laughs> Sorry, I laugh because it's like, he started off waking up every two hours to eat because he gets hungry. And then more recently, it's every three, but I only get like a couple of those before he basically starts um, waking up earlier and earlier. And then he just won't sleep anymore. Ooh, again, sorry. So I got to work with what I got, you know. He, uh, and then some nights he just doesn't sleep, and when that happens, I get real sad real fast, because I actually am pretty tough. I can handle not much sleep. I'm, I'm good at it, but no sleep, I start to go crazy. Like, I get really, really, really down, so as long as I get enough sleep, I can keep the baby blues at bay. Um, fortunately, he was good. Past couple of nights, he was awful. The two before that were really hard nights. So, yep, <laughs> that's my life. Um, because of all of this, I have made stitching this like important priority because I basically don't have a lot of free time, as one can imagine. Um, and right now, I mean, I had a ton of hobbies, um, tons, but now I can, I can only choose 
so many, you know? So my biggest priority at the moment is stitching. Um, that's basically the hobby I chose. I have been reading again because I finally have gotten to a point where I can breastfeed one-handed. So because of that, I can read. Before I couldn't really read because I needed both hands. So that's awesome. So I can, so basically it's <laughs> gonna be reading and cross stitching, which is kind of what I was into before, but I had to let a few other things go. Um, anyway, it's become a big priority because it keeps me sane. It just is one of the few things that makes me kind of like vaguely happy. So I try really, really hard to incorporate um, stitching into my day. Um, the most I typically get to do a day, though, is only an hour, which is about what I did before, um, before I stopped working. An hour is about what I managed anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But I wish I could stitch more. I mean... I've kind of just had to give up on a lot of household chores. There's a few that I try to keep up because they're important, like dishes, litter boxes, and laundry. Especially because we do cloth, cloth diapers at home, which if I had my way, it wouldn't be that way. But hey, gotta, you know, I'm doing something for in the environment, saving some money. Although that's debatable considering how much laundry I do. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, stitching keeps me sane. It really has been a huge help for me um, in relaxing me and making me feel better about life. Um, let's see, what else? <sighs> We've had a lot of activities um, recently, and it's been kind of a, you know, scary but exciting with the baby. We went to a wedding last Saturday. Um, it's the 14th as of when I'm recording this, so who knows when it'll actually get up. <laughs> like, well, good luck. <laughs> Editing is kind of hard right now. But anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, we went to a wedding. This weekend is the town fair, which my husband and I are on the com fair committee. So we're going to be working at the fair. Uh, it's going to be pretty difficult, <laughs> all things considered. I will have a small baby there, so we'll see how that goes. Next weekend, um, ooh, there's a lot going on. My Humane Society that I volunteer at, I'm Temporarily not volunteering, obviously, but um, they have the walk for animals. I'm going to go to that. And then my friends are having a party, so I'm going to go to that party. Um, basically, they don't live too far away, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And then the next day, I'm going to my grandmother's 90th birthday party. Um, my other grandmother passed away, um, I mentioned that I believe in the last video. She passed away, um, pretty recently, so it's really important to me that Robin meets his other great-grandma and doesn't miss out on meeting her, so even though I'm going to be very blunt, I don't want to go to this event and it's not because I don't want to see family it's more because it's fairly it's not hugely far away but it's like two hours away and it's going to be kind of difficult to go to but he's got to meet his great grammy so got to do what you got to do right um so yeah that's my life Hopefully things will get a little less hectic. So on to, which was previously recorded, my whips and a haul. I was going to do a life update 
while walking through the woods today, but unfortunately, I can't find my car keys, so I can't take the dogs out or take the baby. So that's no fun. It's fine. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but ugh. You might end up seeing, I still plan on doing my life update that way, but I'm probably not gonna do it today. Um, it's the uh, eighth today. Oops, sorry, I used my Fitbit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I figure I'll just go ahead and do the whip updates. Let's start with my Triceratops. Let's try not to make a mess here. Nope, someone's starting to fuss. I only have so much time. Okay, so here's the Triceratops. I will insert a picture of what it looked like before. Basically, I just filled in a lot of the Triceratops' body and some leg and started working over here. Um... I, it was pretty decent progress to be honest, but the problem is it's just like I've been working on this since February. I've been working on it off and on, of course, but it's just been that that part's kind of stressful. Um, basically, it just feels like it's taking forever and I want to be done with it. Um, I only can stitch about an hour a day, so you know, can, all that considered, it's okay. I'm hoping that next week I can get the Triceratops itself done. I don't know. It's kind of questionable at this point. But basically, all that's left is the Triceratops itself. This There's a plant kind of like this on this side. There's some ground. And then there's back stitching, and that's it. Oh, sorry. Baby's grunting and groaning. He's fine. I will run over to him once he's actually awake. But he is starting to wake up. Dun, dun, dun. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get it done. Event Like this year even would be amazing. Because I'm just kind of sick of it at this point. But I don't want to quit and give up at this. You know. I just I want to keep going and get it finished. So yeah. There's the Triceratops. Okay next whip. We've got Glory of Autumn. I will try to insert a picture of what it looked like before. Um, I am disappointed in my progress with this one. I really didn't do a whole lot. I filled in a little bit more over here. I filled in some stuff up here. And then basically this section is what I did. It's pretty disappointing progress, honestly. Um, I think I think it's, you know... Still pretty good. I, we had visitors, so that was part of what kind of hurt my uh, ability to do stitching. It sounds weird to complain about visitors, but it's hard to have visitors when, you know, you're, you've got a one-month-old baby. So, anyway, um, I'm basically what I do, I do a little bit over here. And then I work kind of over this way and down. I'm hoping to get, I want to get this whole section done. Um, and then I'm going to work on the more fun stuff, which is there's water, there's like a pond down here, and then the trees I'm going to do last, which are at the top. So, yeah, decent progress, but not what I would have liked. I would have liked more. So I decided to film this update when I was working on the same piece, because I thought that made sense. This is the dove, bird and dove, um, that I got from Etsy. I will put a link for it down below. Um, I have had actually pretty good progress on this one, woohoo, um, compared to last time. Um, and I think I filled in this whole section did more over here and more on the bird because basically what I've been doing for this one is I do I do one strand of floss over here until it's done I'm going to be doing this color then this color then I do a strand over here and a strand over here and I'm just sort of like woo like that um, and I don't know that style has been working for me I 
like I said, I'm happy with the progress. This is coming out really pretty. It's taking longer than I had originally expected, but that's fine. I mean, um, my friend that I'm making this for, she does have a date now for her housewarming party. It is totally not going to be ready in time for the party, but I was expecting that anyway, and big whoop de doo Life goes on. Listen to him start to wake up still. But anyway, um, I'm enjoying working on it, even though it's only two colors. I think it's really pretty, and um, I just wish it wasn't in such big blocks sometimes, but that's okay. It's still rather enjoyable. Oh yeah, I haven't said anything about what I've been stitching these on. Um, I've said it several times, because I've been working on the same darn thing. Um, the Triceratops is just basic white 14 count Ada. Um, Glory of Autumn is a kit. I'm using the 14 count like antique, it's like off-white Ada that it came with. This one is like, a, I don't know what the name for it is in terms of the color. It's like an off-white 18 count Ada. And let's take a look at my last whip. Okay, it's pretty little New York. Um, I got some good progress on this one too. Um, I am happy about it. Basically this, a lot of stuff here, stuff down here, filled in stuff there and starting in over here. Um, so that's pretty good for me <laughs> in terms of progress. Sorry, I've got a dog who is trying to lick me. Yeah. I know, you too cute. I know. She's really disappointed right now that we're not going for a you know what. But mommy can't find the car keys. I'm sorry. If we could find the car keys, we could go. Probably wondering why are the car keys necessary? It's because um, the dogs run off leash, so the, the, uh, not, this dog gets no exercise from an on leash. You know what? W A L K. She gets nothing out of that. Um, and we do have a trail in our backyard, but it's like all really steep uphill and I don't feel comfortable wearing a baby up that hill. Like I just, I can't do it. I'm, I, I think, I just feel like it would be dangerous. Like too, too high of a chance that I could trip and fall and squish my baby. Um, but if I can't find my car keys, car, sorry, car keys, I can't, you know, I can't put him in the car seat. Like, I have a friend who would go hiking with me, but, you know, we'd have to drive somewhere and he has to be in a car seat. So I just don't have an option now. Anyway, stuff that no one cares about. So, yeah, um, this is gorgeous. Like, I think this one is my absolute favorite. Okay, sorry about that. Just, I don't know, weird sound and like, there's been a lot of break-ins where I live, which is really sad because I live in the middle of nowhere. But I just wanted to make sure no one was like trying to break into the house. Um, no one was. We're okay. Oh, I don't really want her head on the cloth, but she's so cute. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's a sad day for dogs. And then over here. Yep, we have that rascal. Oh, hey, 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 head off of the actual piece. Good girl. Good girl. Look at that sad face, everyone. How can I deny her what she wants? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, I love the different colors. I'm having a blast doing this one, because basically, I do the same kind of thing. I start over here. I use one color. Once I'm done with that color, go over here, 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 here. It's it's just, it works really well for me and it makes this whole piece more interesting. I'm having so much fun with it. Um, I know, no, you are not sitting with me. There's no, there, there's like no room for a dog over there. Anyway. So yeah, that is my whips. I know. Oh, um, this is like just a 28 count Lugana, I think. It's just, it's a basic like, I bought it from Michael's fabric. It's not exciting or special or anything. It's, 
I think it's tea dyed for the color. I know, I don't typically stitch on pool fabric, not yet. Not yet. Okay, I'm digging this out of the UFO section and I'm hoping to get this um, completed in time for Christmas for my mom. I'm adding it to my rotation, so it's gonna be a five week rotation instead of four weeks, like I have been doing, so. Yeah, I couldn't remember how much I'd finished. Um, basically, obviously the border goes all the way around and it just says, may your days be merry and bright, it has a few little stars. It's pretty basic and easy and it's, God, it's beautiful, isn't it? I love these colors. It's so simple and delightful. But anyway, I want to get this finished. I'm hoping It'll only take a couple of weeks to finish. Um, I get nervous because it's so hard to know, you know, like it's hard to know how long this will actually take me. But I figured I'd show it again um, and I'm going to start working on this once I'm, it's going to come after Pretty Little New York. So my whips I do in the order that I've been showing them. So gonna start this soon or start it again soon so I do have some birthday haul so I will show you guys my birthday haul my birthday was the 29th of August um, yeah my baby's birthday and my birthday are pretty close together so yeah first thing which I can't really show you guys without editing in a picture of it because I printed it was a pattern I got, I was given digitally by my mom, but I don't have, um, when I printed it out, it doesn't do like just an image of it. But I got The Castle by Teresa Wensler, which I'm sure a lot of you already know that one, um, if not all of you really. Ms. Oso Crafty's been working on it. The reason I know about it is because there's ads for it in the old cross-stitching magazines my mom got for me. So I'm just like, and I thought, oh, that's a cool, cool pattern. That looks really neat. And then I, um, I Googled it and what do you know, it's still out there. People are still doing it, which is awesome. So I can't wait to do that at some point. It's going to be a long way in the future, but okay. So we'll start with my, I got... <laughs> So, I haven't started my hade yet, but I got a couple more hades. <laughs> I have, this puts my count up to five. Um, four regular and one mini. So, for my regular, I've got uh, Hoto uh, Ubi, Hoto Ruby. Um, this one, look how pretty that is. It's a nice geisha. So, I'm thinking for this one, I'm actually not... I'm not gonna do the background. I think I'm just gonna do the geisha and these flowers here and not bother with this background. The background is nice, like it's fine, but it's not that exciting. And she's really the focus of the piece, so I think that it would look really cool. I should have looked to see if they had a version without a background, but that's okay. Um, I know that they did that for another piece that I was interested in. Oh, you can kind of see through this. Oops. No, there's nothing behind here that would be a problem. Anyway, so yeah, I'm th considering doing that. It's going to be a while before I start this, though. So, it's neat. I like that. The other one I got is my first mini Haid, which is mini Lackadaisy Affinity. I'm assuming that's how you say it. This is really cute, is it not? So the reason I put this one on as a mini is because I like it a lot, but I'm like not crazy enough about it that I would want to do a full hade size of this. But it's like perfect to do as a mini. Plus I'm thinking it might be really fun to do a mini, like a lot less intimidating and whatnot. I might actually consider starting this one a lot sooner. Um, than other things. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my future stitchy plans, but anyway, I'll, I'll explain that. Um, 
but I just think it's really cute and I've started buying the floss for it. Um, I haven't, I'm, it's going to probably be a while before I fully kit this one up. I mean, it's just DMC and I actually have some 18 count Ada that I think I can use for it. Um, it's not the magic guide, but since this is a mini, I think I'll be a little less intimidated by it. Right, I would buy all of the floss at once, but we are a little strapped for cash, so. Anyway, mini lackadaisy affinity, it's cute. Alright, let's grab some other stuff I got. So, my mom got me, oh, you hear, hear squealing baby? It's not crying yet, but it's soon, it's coming. She got me this from Mill Hill. I had it on my one, two, three stitch wish list. I didn't realize that it's a magnet, <laughs> like it's a magnet, not a um, ornament, but you know what, that's fine. Like, that's still gonna be really fun to do and really cute. And what's wrong with magnets except that our, um, <laughs> our fridge is gross like we need a new fridge but who cares I'm gonna you know it can go on the next fridge too so yeah I think that is super cute and then she got me um, a gift card for one two three stitch so I got another magnet from Mill Hill I got this snowman my mom loves snowmen so I plan on doing this for her I Gotta be honest though, I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Like, I'd like to do it this year. I don't know. Well, again, I'm gonna talk about stitchy plans, but this is super cute. I'm, oh, look how cool. I'm so excited to do one of these. I've seen other people do them and they're, they're adorable. Um, another thing I got with the gift card she got me was this Lizzie Kate. <laughs> again, this is for my mom. Asking about my grandkids, because she's, she loves Robin so much. I'm an only child, which makes it even more like, oh my god, grandchild. So, I think these are super cute. Gonna do that at some point. Not, again, not sure. Did you see that fly? Ugh. And then I also got four spools of the same color clinic. Shiny and pretty this is. I've never actually seen Krennic in person. I know a lot of people prefer Petite pre Treasure ba Braid. Ugh. Petite Treasure Braid. But I decided to go for this because it was what was called for in the pattern I got it for. Which is um, the Crescent Dragon by, um, by Joan Elliott. It's from the Bewitching Cross Stitch um, book. I couldn't afford to get all of the Krennic yet. Again, we're a little strapped for cash um, with the fact that I'm not working anymore. And we got a baby. But I figured I would just, you know, get it in pieces, right? Like, just get little pieces. And maybe for Christmas, um, I can get the rest of it. I got one other thing. I'm going to stop for a sec. Okay, the last thing I got is pretty cool. So my mom did this for me. She knew I wanted um, a particular pattern. And she she got this for me. Um, well, anyway, this is also from 123 Stitch. It's another Lizzie Kate. Um, basically just like a calendar. Um, called It's called Yearbook. Um, I think this is super cute. I love all of them. I mean... I'm obviously not, I'm not going to be doing this in one big piece like this is, but I do plan on getting all of them and kind of maybe doing, I don't know if anyone's doing an official stitch along, like stitch along with this, but if no one is, that's fine. I don't really care that much. I'm going to do it maybe as my own stitch along. I don't, for myself, I, I'm not sure yet. I have to think about that, but anyway doesn't really matter. I can do it however I want. But anyway, she got... Now, 123 Stitch is super cool because they can suggest... They have the materials there and you can just buy all the materials. So she got me all of the stuff needed for it, which is really cool. So we got the fabric. We got two pieces of this 28 count light mocha. 9 by 13 which is really cool. 
That's nice. And then she got all the Wake Star Works for it. I've never worked with specialty floss before, so I'm really excited about this. Like, look at the, oh, this is a great example. Look at the variegation in this one. So it's cool. I'm excited. Like, that was really nice of her. Um, so I got all these colors now, which should be, according to the pattern, just enough. Anyway, it should be just enough to do those two pieces. There we go, bright leaf. I don't know why that's bright leaf. Like, that's not really what I would consider to be a bright leaf color. Oh well. Um, these are really pretty. I'm just super excited about this. Like, I, I didn't expect her to do that. I personally probably would have been cheap and just worked with the DMC equivalents and then maybe get a couple of colors, the ones that look really variegated, you know? But I'm happy that she got this for me. This is really cool. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to start it. Um, I don't know, again, when I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk about my my plans, my stitchy plans here. Oh, I like that one a lot. And then that's all of them. Grapevine doesn't really look like it was appropriately named either. But anyway, so yeah, just gonna talk about stitchy plans. All right, so sandwiching stuff in between these two hiking videos. So, let's talk about... Oh god, this is so shaky. I'm really sorry. I'm trying not to, but it's hard. Just close your ass. I don't know. Uh, anyway, what was I going to say? Yes, so, let's talk about stitchy plans. Um, so, for stitchy plans... Hi, Skagia. Um... Basically, I'm going to be, I mentioned it already, I'm going to be adding in the Christmas piece to my rotation. So it'll be a five-week rotation, so four weeks like I had been doing. That shouldn't be a big deal. But the next, the other thing I'm going to do, oh, this is like the only hill on this trail. It's really not that bad of a hill. It was easy when I was in good shape. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what was I? Yes, so I'm considering switching up my rotation kind of hardcore, but not yet. So basically, the thing about my rotation is I just, I'm getting sick of all my whips, which isn't many, as you guys all know. And the main reason I only have four whips was because I wanted to get things done faster. <laughs> But it feels like it still takes me forever to finish anything. So it's like, why not just have more whips? But I don't want to like, um, totally jeopardize that by giving every single project a week. Because really, I'll truly never get anything done. So I was thinking, sorry, the hill it wasn't even that bad. I was thinking I'd sacrifice one of my weeks, rather. One of the weeks that I do whips to work on whatever I want, like a wild card week. Or even almost a rotation within a rotation. So three of the weeks would be dedicated purely to three steady projects, while the other week would be whatever I want to work on. And I mean, I could even split up the week however I want. If I want to work on something for a few days and then something else. Um, I think the place I'll use is Glory of Autumn because that piece I'm in no rush to hurry because um, the Triceratops I'm close to finishing and I just want to finish and after that I'm gonna work on my Hade that I've been talking about for like a year um, and if I ever want to get that hay done, I'm going to have to make sure it's a dedicated spot. <laughs> and then the uh, other two projects are gifts, which, again, I'm not in a hurry, but I would like to finish them within a reasonable-ish amount of time. 
So, the glory of autumn would be the spot. Now, I'm not going to do this immediately. The main reason being, <laughs> it is almost autumn. You can't, I can't scrap glory of autumn while it's autumn, you know? I mean, the fact that it's the proper season, it's only going to make me want to do it, you know? It's going to be perfect timing to work on that piece. So, I probably won't start this rotation until I, um, sorry, I probably won't start until it's like, you know, November, December, when the leaves are all gone from the trees and it's not pretty anymore and we hit the long winter is when I'll start doing this rotation. So, that being said, this is kind of early talk to be talking about it. I mean, I'm still gonna have, in theory, a few more, a couple more videos before I even start this rotation, but I thought I'd talk about it anyway, because that's what us floss tubers do, dude. Okay, so, now what will I be working on in that slot? I'm still debating. There's a few things. I've got my two Mill Hill magnet kits that I'd like to do. Those should be quick and fun and easy. So I was thinking those would be good choices. Um, another thing I was thinking is the mini haid. Now, I was thinking, um, I don't remember what I talked about when I talked about my haul, but I was thinking I would just go through page by page of the piece, check the symbols, see what's most prevalent and buy those color floss, flosses. So then that way, you know, I've got, I can essentially start kitting it up, which will be good. So yeah, I can kind of start kitting up the mini Haid. Um, I can't really afford to just buy all the floss out right, right now, but I also have 18 count Ada for it and everything. So I think the mini Haid will be one of them. And then the other piece would be Crescent Moon Dragon by Joan Elliott from the Bewitching Cross Stitch book. I know tons of people have done this one, but whatever, whatever, I want to do it. Now that one's a little different. That one, I have all the DMC for, and I bought some of the Krennic as, ooh, don't want to fall with the baby attached to me. Um, yeah, anyway, I got the Krennic, some of it, as you guys saw, but the, I can't really afford the rest of the Krennic yet. And here's something that I need help with, is what do I do for fabric? Let's all chat fabric now. So, I've never bought hand-dyed fabric. I've only done things on just basic, boring store fabric, which I'm fine with, really. But, wouldn't it be cool to do this on hand-dyed? Now, here's some things I want to talk about with that. So, I finally started looking into hand-dyed fabric, and I gotta be very blunt, it is expensive. It is rather pricey stuff. And, again, we're on a budget. I'm sorry I keep mentioning that we're on a budget. I'm not trying to, like, make people feel sorry for us or be like, Oh my god, let us, let, let, you know, do you want people to buy you stuff? Like, that, I'm not begging as not the intention. I just, I'm just being blunt, <laughs> like, that we're on a budget. So, anyway. Um, I just can't really... Like, I was looking at, you know, how much it would cost, and it's expensive. I just don't know if it's really... So, the first question I have for people who do hand-dyed fabric, is it worth it? Like, do you guys think that getting hand-dyed fabric is so awesome sauce that it is worth the cost of actually purchasing hand-dyed fabric? That's my first question. Is it worth it? 
Like, because even though we can't really afford it right now, I'm sure over time, if I'm patient, Mr. Mully would let me buy it. Like, I don't think he's cruel. Horse poop. You stay away from that. Good boy. I don't think he's that mean, you know? But, you know, he's not going to let me just buy hand-dyed fabric left and right. It's going to be begging every time. Is it worth it? Next question. Okay, assuming it is, which I'm kind of leaning towards it is, <laughs> um, because this is not a full coverage piece, and this is a piece that's going to cost a lot of money to work on anyway, considering the Krennic and the beads. Oh yeah, I didn't mention, for the beads, I probably wouldn't buy them until I was near the end of the project, because uh, most people bead at the end anyway, and those are also crazy expensive. Barf. Anyway. Oh, I'm going to turn around. Don't worry, the uh, my Skyla will find us. She tends to run off and then she comes gallivanting back. But Cedric stays pretty close. He's getting old, aren't you, buddy? They're both nine, so oh, I can't believe they're that old. They're gonna be turning ten. And like when a dog's ten, that's officially an old dog. Question part two. What? <laughs> yeah, assuming I get it, what color? <laughs> like, where should I get it? And what look should I go for? I can tell you guys what I have intended. And hopefully, I'll have enough time to be able to edit in a picture of what I want. So, I checked out what Joan Elliott recommended in her book. I went to that website, which is UK site. Um, and okay, she recommends something called Midnight Mist. I'll also link the website and try to show it on the screen. So you guys can check it out. She recommended again Midnight Mist, which is fine, but kind of boring. Like it's a little dull. I'm sure it looks fantastic, but anyway, I was thinking, looking on the same website, which had better prices than Picture This Plus. Now, if any of you know websites for cheap hand-dyed fabric that's still good, go ahead and share that with me. Gossip with me, friends. But anyway, yeah, I'm slow. <laughs> I did the picture preview it looks good but like it makes like a border around the design like a little white border which is not how the design will actually look so I would like some thoughts from people if you have something in mind go ahead and share it with me or feel free to give your opinion on whether the one that I kind of like would look good because I am very very bad at choosing fabric colors. I mean, I've already had two incidents where my choice of floss versus fabric ended up being stuff that kind of faded in. And I hate that, it drives me crazy. So, I would appreciate some honest opinions on if my choice looks good, slash if you have something you recommend. I'm happy to hear that recommendation because I don't want to buy expensive fabric and then find out like, oh, this looks terrible together or, oh, the floss, you can't even see the colors because it fades right into the fabric. That would be very sad. So yeah, opinions wanted since I am a newbie stitcher compared to like almost all of you. You guys are awesome and I am lowly noob. So I think that's about it. I keep saying I'm going to do a tag. I never do it. I think I'm just going to give up on the idea of doing a tag. I hate to say it. I just don't have time. I'd have to, well, maybe sometime I'll write down questions and bring them with me on a hike because this is the only time I can ever do anything. So that isn't stitching time. Like I don't want to, I know this sounds awful, but I don't want to use my stitchy time for floss tube. No offense guys, I'm not trying to be a jerk, just 
Like, I have such precious little time to myself. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are, oh, oh God, don't die. Um, you guys are all awesome. And yeah, see you all in my next video, which will be sometime next month. Ta-da! Look at him sitting there with his ridiculous plastic pants, giant cloth diaper, onesie knot all the way around him. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna be quiet while mommy does her update? <laughs>